I've been using Sophia.org for one week, and I want to give you guys an update on uh, my progress so far. Um, if you guys are new to this video, I made a video last week talking about um, kind of my plans for Western Governors University and how I plan to knock out some classes before I start using both uh, Sophia.org and study.com. Uh, specifically, I'm starting off with Sophia.org. So uh, without further ado, I'm pretty much just going to get into it. I will show you a copy of the transcript that I have as of today. Uh, today is Monday, August 15th. Um, and the, the transcript is kind of an unofficial transcript. I think you have to you have to pay like five dollars every time you uh, get an official transcript. And every time I send it to WGU, it will cost like five seventy five or something like that. So not a big deal. But after one week, I have successfully done four classes. Um, it's actually a lot faster than I thought, um, although it's going to slow down pretty heavily. Um, but yeah, so let's just talk about the four classes real quick, and then I'll kind of uh, show you the overall update and uh, what my plans are from here. So uh, the first class, I told you guys that I would do project management. And project management is the only class out of the four that I've done so far, that I've completed so far, that I watched all of the videos. Uh, I watched every single video. I took notes on the videos. Uh, and it was generally because I was interested in the class. I'm not really interested in the other classes. Uh, but that one I was pretty interested in uh, just from a project management standpoint. Um, I am actually pretty interested in project management overall. Uh, if you guys remember me talking about that class last week, I said the reason why I was taking it was mainly because I did not want to have to uh, get the CompTIA IT project management certification. I didn't care about it. I still don't care about it, but it doesn't mean that I don't like project management. Um, so yeah, anyways, that, that class took two days to do. It wasn't that difficult. Um, and then after that, I think the next day I did introduction to IT. Uh, introduction to IT took maybe three hours. Uh, now I will say I didn't, I didn't watch any of the, the videos or anything like that. Um, I didn't feel like I needed to, uh, you know, not to be cocky or anything, but, you know, I've been working in IT for like 10 years and it's an introduction to IT class. So I was like, if I can't do that, then either the material is way too hard or I just haven't learned anything in 10 years. So, um, yeah, I did that class. That class was easy. Only took me a day. Um, I waited a day to do the next class, which was uh, web development. Web development also took one day. And I think out of every single class, web development, it will probably be, if you decide to use Sophia uh, to knock out some of your classes, web development is going to be the quickest by a mile. Like if you really know web development, you'll probably finish the entire course in 20 minutes. And I'm not kidding either. Like it, it's that, it's that simple. The, the thing is, is that it's not a lot of questions. Um, so because it's not a lot of questions, if you get those questions wrong, they're going to weigh a lot more and it's going to uh, hurt your score a lot more. But in general, if you know it, you're good to go. Uh, for me, it took me about, I think about three hours or so. Um, but yeah, so that's that class. Uh, the last class that I completed was macroeconomics. Uh, just a heads up here too. Um, I chose to do macroeconomics. You could have also done microeconomics. Uh, I I didn't know the difference between the two before I took the class. I just literally looked at the two and was like, mm, I think this one might be a little easier. So I chose macroeconomics. Um, and by far, it was the, the hardest class I've done so far just because uh, I don't really feel like I knew a lot of the material going in. And uh, it, was, it was quite a bit to learn. So yes, I did it in two days, but... It, it was uh, it was quite a bit, to be honest. Um, so yeah, so that's that's four classes done. And the reason why I say that um, the the next classes are not going to be that easy. Uh, first of all, there are three uh, classes that have touchstones. I talked about this last week. Um, so all of the classes that I've done so far have all been, 
have all been, um, sorry, people race motorcycles outside, uh, have all been um, like the type of courses where you have uh, just two things. You have challenges and you have milestones and that's it. So they're, they're pretty quick to do. You do them, you get, a, you get graded immediately and that's that. But there's three classes that require touchstones out of my list and those touchstones assignments means that you have to like write a paper, submit the paper, and then Sophia will take five to seven business days to review that. And so that's kind of problematic because it means that uh, you can't just finish a class in a day or two. You have to wait for them to grade it and then give it back to you. And then you may have to do the assignment again and then wait another five to seven days. And so uh, I did one of them, one of the, uh, I'm doing English composition one. So um, I'm just waiting on them to give me my results basically for that class. Uh, the other class that I'm doing, because you can do up to two of them at a time with Sophia. The other class that I'm doing is environmental science. And I may have messed up here. Um, maybe I'm not supposed to do this class. I don't know. Uh, in fact, you know what? I'll show you. I'll show you what I'm talking about. And I actually didn't talk about this last week, but I should have because I actually took notes on it. I just didn't show you. So uh, give me a second. I'll pull up my screen here and I will show you. So this is my my sheet. If you guys haven't seen the other video, basically, uh, long story short, these are showing all of the classes that you have to do in order to pass the bachelor's class. And specifically with me, I've looked at all of the study.com and Sophia.org classes. And what you may have noticed from the video was the, this one right here is in red. And the reason why this is in red, uh, well, let me show you. So I'm gonna go here. This is WGU's information for Sophia. Specifically, these are the classes that you can take that will uh, fulfill the requirements of the WGU courses. And if you go down here to integrated physical sciences, it says uh, ENVS 1001, which is Sophia's environmental science class. If you pass that class, it will uh, knock out this requirement. By the way, there is a little asterisk here. Uh, I wanna show you if I scroll down just a little bit further, uh, it says that that specific course is recommended for transfer credit. What it's saying is that uh, you, for that specific class, you can do any of these, um, human biology, chemistry, or uh, environmental science, and it should pass that class. But the reason why I think I may have messed up is because if you go to sophia.org's class list, um, this is it right here. So you see WGU College of Information Technology dot Sophia dot org. Um, they actually list out the classes that, you know, will transfer over and they don't have environmental science. Um, I can take environmental science uh, once you actually. So I'm not signed in right now. That's why it still says start free trial up there but I can actually still take the class. The class is listed, all of their classes are listed. It's like 30 something classes you can take in general, but it's not listed under the classes that transfer to WGU. So I don't know for sure if that means that uh, only these classes will transfer. I'm not sure if maybe it's old material, I don't know. Like this is the latest version of their website. This is the latest version of this transfer information. So I don't know, um, but hopefully it will transfer over. The reason why I said I messed up is because you can only take up to two classes at a time. One of them right now is tied up with my um, with my uh, English composition class. The other class is now tied up with me doing the environmental science. And I, I wanted to show you down here because I'm not sure how much I can actually show you uh, in the actual classes, but I can show you right here that this, this is just kind of a demo of what it looks like, but just by pictures. So this is actually what it looks like when you, when you do a class. And this one says environmental science. So you have these right here. These, these are, touch, these are the, the challenges. And then the, the big one is your uh, 
milestone classes. And so if I go over to the next one, basically your challenges, and this is actually exactly what my environmental science looks like. Um, so it'll have your challenge. It's basically for this one, it's eight questions for the challenge. You do the eight questions, you pass the challenge, you move on, and then you'll eventually get to your milestones. That's why I said like these classes are not difficult at all. You don't really have to look at the study material because quite literally everything is open book. Um, I'm not sure how well that's going to translate to my algebra class when I eventually take that. Like I'm, I'm thinking about algebra and I'm like, well, how difficult is algebra going to be? Uh, if it's open book, that means, you know, I can use a calculator too. So uh, is it going to be a situation where calculators are, are going to be enough? Uh, I don't know. We'll see when I get to the algebra class because uh, it may be a lot of fractions and stuff like that. So we'll, we'll see. But yeah, that's the only thing that I'm worried about right now is just the environmental science class not being listed here. But since it is listed here, what I'm gonna do is once I do the environmental science class, I will transfer um, I will transfer it to WGU. I'll pay the $5 and transfer the course over or transfer the, uh, the transcript over and, and we'll see if they accept it or not. If they don't accept it, then I just wasted like probably two to three days doing the class, but that's okay. It, it shouldn't take that long. Um, so yeah, just going back to my page, like I said, I, I am keeping track of how long it takes me. So, you know, two days, one day, two days, whatever, um, actually made another tab here, uh, just so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, in fact, I'll even zoom in a tiny bit. Um, so th this is all of the classes that you can take, uh, with Sophia.org in relation to the bachelor's class. So I'm just keeping track of it here as well. The green are the ones that I've already done. Uh, and you can see if they're challenges and milestones or if they're challenges, milestones and touchstones. Um, so, you know, I, I, I'm hoping that within like two to three days, I can get all of uh, the rest of the classes done that are not these three touchstones. So environmental science, I should have it done. And in, in, if not tomorrow, then day after that. College algebra, maybe will take three days. Maybe relational databases take three days. Maybe statistics takes three days. I know the other ones were done in only one or two days, um, but I really, I've looked at the material for all of these and I really feel like the, the other ones were the much easier ones. I feel like these last ones are gonna take a lot longer. So uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, that's basically kind of in a nutshell where I am. I just wanted to give you guys a, uh, a quick update so you know what's going on and uh yeah so as far as my next steps uh are concerned uh i am going to continue to do the sophia.org classes um i will do study.com i just I, I don't need to yet i still have sophia classes to knock out um and since i can you know do all of them potentially in one month i'd rather just hard focus on uh, finishing up the Sophia classes. Uh, and then after that, I'm, I'm not really sure. Um, another thing is, and it doesn't affect, it's not going to affect WGU at all, um, is I talked a little bit about the, uh, the ISACA CISM. Um, I failed it. I, I, I failed the exam last month. And when you fail, you're you're kind of banned for taking it for 30 days. Um, officially, I can take the exam on the 27th, uh, which would be next Friday. And so I, I kind of want to study and take that again, even though it's not going to help me in WGU. It is a, it's something that I, I studied for for a couple months, and I, I really want to pass that exam, um, just, you know, get that knowledge. I know I have the CISSP already, but the CISM is one that... Uh, you know, I've already started learning it. I don't want to just give it up. So what I may do is I may like focus on knocking out the rest of the Sophia classes and then study for the CISM for a couple weeks and take it again. And then after that, maybe do study.com and, and knock out the rest of the study.com classes. Uh, since by then I would have already finished most of what I can do with Sophia. The, the thing is, I'm probably not going to be able to, to finish Sophia 
uh, classes probably not the end of this month, maybe not even the middle of next month, because again, you have to wait for Sophia's staff to grade all of your uh, touchstone classes. And I didn't say this, but um, you can't skip ahead with everything. Like you can skip ahead with some of the touchstones, so you can do multiple touchstones uh, for, for like English composition one. Like you, you can do multiple touchstones and submit them at the same time, but you can't submit all of them because there's at least one touchstone that's like, well, you have to uh, receive a grade from the first touchstone you submitted and then take the information from that one, revise it, and then submit it as uh, a revised version or something like that. But basically, they're, they're, they're purposely making you wait and they're making it a very, very slow process. So um, that's gonna be pretty annoying. However, if, if I already have to wait, you know, five to seven days, I'm going to try to knock out whatever else I can. And if that means that I've finished all of the stuff that I can with Sophia and I'm just going to be waiting the whole time, then I will either in between that waiting, go back to studying for the ISACA CISM certification, or I'll just do study.com. I'm not sure. But um, anyways, yeah, that's, that's my plan. So as far as when I'll make another update video, regarding, um, you know, my, my like pre WGU progress, uh, it'll probably, if I had to take a guess, I'd probably say it's going to be in about two weeks. Um, I think the next time I make a video, uh, regarding WGU, as far as my progress goes, will either be once I finish the Sophia.org stuff, or maybe after I've completed my first study.com class, so I can kind of really compare the two, um, once I've actually, you know, done the second one, so you can, uh, get my opinion. I, I still, I'm almost positive that Sophia is just better to knock out classes because you can do them so quickly. Um, but we'll see, we'll see what happens when we get there. Uh, but yeah, that's it for now. Um, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, week, whatever. And, uh, I will give you guys an update video once I have something else to share. All right. Take care.